Welcome back to my classic Fords. So today, if, especially if you're new to the channel, this is a 62 Mercury station wagon. It's called a Mercury Monterey commuter. It has 59,000 original miles on it. I'll give you a quick shot of the interior just in case you didn't see it already. The dash is in excellent shape. We got that 59,000 on the clock. The seats are in nice shape. And we got an oil change sticker from 1980 that says the next service was at 58,870 miles. So as you can clearly see, this car has been parked for a fairly long time. Uh, the plan here is I only got about a month, maybe five, six weeks at best of good weather. And then it's going to fly into winter. And in this part of the country, we salt our highways. So it's really harsh on the cars. So these cars will get put away for the winter. This car, I'm going to stick it in the garage. This will be the first project of this fall. So if you guys stick with me, follow along. I'm going to show you what I do for a body job. This car is not going to get a frame off restoration. I don't think I really want to invest that kind of money in it. I think I can have a lot of fun with it and enjoy it the way it is. Um, we are going to obviously have a look at them quarter panels and patch those up. Make them, you know, solid again. Get rid of most of that fiberglass and stuff. Um, the next project here, I have to rebuild the carburetor. I put a Pertronics kit, new coil, spark plugs and wires on it, just to tune up the electrical side. Now the carburetor's leaking real bad, and it's also flooding the car real bad. So we're gonna address that this evening. And the next plan is we're gonna pull the wheels off, maybe in a few days, check out the brakes, do a brake job. And after that, we're gonna plate it and I'm going to clean it up a bit and I'm going to drive it just like this, just locally, drive it around, just kind of work out the kinks. And like I said, if you follow along, you'll see that hopefully next spring, this car will be all done, ready to hit the road. I got an old wooden boat. I'd like to put a trailer hitch on this car, take my little wooden boat out to the lake. Um, ultimately, if I can figure out a way to get the car seats secured in it, very good. The two kids, me and my wife, we could take it out to the beach and have some fun with it. All right, for now, let's pull that carburetor off and just we'll see how bad it is. And hopefully the rebuild kit that I got will cure the problem. All right. I got the carburetor off, just having a look at it. Uh, there's the original Ford tag on it. I don't know if that paint is original or not, but what the plan is now, I'm going to pull that bowl off and see what else may be easy just to kind of yank off. All right, well, I'll pull a couple parts off it and put them in the bucket here. Okay, so I removed the bowl, and at first glance, it looks pretty decent. Doesn't look too filled up with stuff. And if you look kind of down the bottom, you can definitely see some sediment in there, but not terrible. Definitely seen a lot worse. The bowl actually looks fairly clean. So we'll disassemble a little further. All right, so upon further tear down, you can definitely see it's got some dirt in there. All the little, as many parts as I could break it down into. Uh, this little diaphragm here, you can clearly see the dirt on it. This was stuck in there, you know, pretty, pretty good, really. Um, it's an old carburetor and <laughs> I think it's more complex than a four barrel holly, to be honest with you. It's just dinky little one barrel carburetor, but 
Jeez, it's got more gizmos in it than a four barrel. All right, so I think the plan is tonight is I've now stripped it down as far as I could go. Um, I'm gonna let it soak and I'm gonna try something. Uh, someone suggested to me to use CLR. So here's the carburetor. Here's what it looks like. I'm just gonna fill it up with CLR and we'll come back tomorrow night and check out and see what it looks like. So I'm just gonna completely submerge it and let it soak. And get another jug, I guess. So I'm gonna completely submerge it and tomorrow night, I'll come back and check it out and put the rebuild kit in it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.